Keith, what's the big idea with Futures in it? What do people need to know about this book? It takes place five years later. It shows some of the futures of DC characters. Uh, it comes out weekly. And I guess the main reason to buy the book is just waiting for that, like, NASCAR incident. <laughs> when the tire flies off. And yeah, yeah, you know, understand. like, they'll miss a week. So, you know, yeah, uh, come for the story, stay for the crash. <laughs> that's all. That's the greatest sales pitch ever. And what's it been like working with, you know, you've got four creators that typically operate in different parts of the DC universe, and you guys are all working together on this. What's that process been like? Not a problem at all. It's really? been really collaborative. A lot of egos were checked at the door. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be that we each have our characters, we each have our storylines, and there's a trunk story that runs through, we interconnect with the trunk story, but we're pretty much telling our own stories. Uh -huh. But it hasn't really been like that. I'm watching characters get traded off. Uh, Jeff Lemire and I will be writing an issue together because two of our storylines coalesced. I got Grifter because I, I pulled my usual stunt when it comes to these kind of partnership books, and that was, well, here's all the characters we're going to use. Who do you want? And I said, well, you know, I'll wait till all the dust settles, and I'll just take whatever's on the table. And I got Grifter and King Faraday. I like Wildstorm characters, but I always had this problem with Grifter. But once I sat down and really started thinking about the character, I saw some potential there to make him a move and shaker at DC. In a way, I've always liked the lesser characters, the characters that aren't super popular. I never gravitated towards Superman, Batman, and The Flash. I never cared whether I did them or not. I was more interested in like, the demon or the creeper. You said your process is, I'll let everybody else pick their characters and I'll take whoever's left. Mm -hmm. But that choosing process at the beginning, how did Jeff get his characters or Brian get his characters or Dan get his characters? It wasn't like everyone grabbing, uh, uh, jumping on the table and fighting over it. The characters were sometimes assigned to a writer that we thought could do it best. Now, Jeff, of course, he, he wanted to do something with Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. He also wound up with Stormwatch and Big Barda. No one thought twice about giving Batman Beyond being Brian Azzarello. I think he might have brought Batman Beyond to the project. And also, he had such a great take on Mr. Terrific that he wound up with that character. Dan Juergens also had a great idea for Firestorm, and he wound up with Tim Drake. And he's the one dealing the most with Lois Lane right now, even though she was also looked as a round robin character that we could utilize when we need some exposition. Superman, I think, is being shared between uh, uh, Brian Azzarello and Dan Jurgens. Now, having said that, if I come up with a great idea for Mr. Terrific, I'm sure that I'd be able to do it. Right. So even though we've got stewardship over certain characters, it's not like they're ours and that's it and no one else can touch them. And then my last thing for you, can you give us any clues as to who is behind Superman's mask? No, I can't. Dan Jurgens would kill me. But I will say that I don't see people figuring this one out. I, 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 I don't see them guessing this one. Um, I think we should stop playing Injustice because we need to remind everybody to subscribe to DC All Access. Yeah, just one second. I'm trying to get the Joker to do the jokes on you move. Okay, but it's really important because they need to know that if they subscribe, they're going to know everything going on in the DC Universe. Awesome giveaways, all the Comic-Con coverage, and so much more. Got it. Do you see that? Blair, you literally just backed up and then fell down. Is that on me?